to make easy blue cheese cookies. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to give a little twist on my cookies and I am going to prepare a savory cookie. And I hope that these cookies are going to become one of your favorites. So let's get started. Very good, for these cookies you are going to need 100 grams of blue cheese or gorgonzola, 113 grams of softened butter, 2 tablespoons of heavy cream, 1 egg yolk, a pinch of salt and pepper, and 3 quarter cups of flour. I am going to use this bowl so you can see how the recipe is going to go. But if you don't have a clear bowl, don't worry, you can use any kind of bowl. So I am going to put the cheese, and the cheese that I'm going to use is crumbled. But if you are going to have like a big piece of cheese, the only thing that you need to do is smash the cheese so it comes in smaller pieces. So I am going to use a fork to crumble more this cheese. Now I am going to add the butter cut in pieces and still using my fork I am going to start mixing the cheese with the butter, okay? Now I am going to add 2 tablespoons of heavy cream and still I'm going to use my fork. And just mix a little bit until it looks a little bit more combined. Now I am going to add the egg yolk and I will still continue mixing with my fork. Now I am going to add a pinch of salt and pepper. Now I am going to sieve the 3 quarter cups of flour. Little bit by little bit. I'm going to continue mixing all my ingredients. Prepare because you are going to put your hands in this cookie dough. So if you don't like the strong scent of the cheese, you can put some loaves, okay? I'm gonna show you how the cookie dough looks. I am going to put my globes and I am going to continue mixing all the ingredients, okay? Now that you have a bowl, almost like this, I am going to take out my glove because I really like to feel how the cookie dough is coming. Now I am going to use my hands and what I'm going to do is try to incorporate all the ingredients. And what you're looking for is a very nice and soft cookie dough. So you can add a little bit more of flour. And 
and you don't want to have cookie dough stick on your fingers it, it means that it needs more flour add like a tablespoon at a time okay don't add too much As you can see the cookie dough is ready because nothing sticks on my fingers so now my cookie dough is ready to be rolled very good now I am going to put my cookie dough on a parchment paper and I am going to roll out my cookie dough to a quarter of an inch And when you see that your cookie dough is very well prepared is when you roll your cookie dough and almost nothing stick to your rolling pin. Now I am going to put it like about 30 minutes in the fridge and then I am going to cut out my cookies and I am going to bake them at 425 degrees so it's going to be a little bit hard. And don't discard the egg whites because you are going to need them to brush your cookies, okay? I am going to put a parchment paper on my baking tray and I am ready to cut out these cookies. I am going to use these vintage shaped cookie cutters because I think some of them are very cool. Very good. I have all my cookies on my baking sheet now I am going to use a pastry brush and I am going to put a little bit of the egg white and then I am going to add some little special touches. If you want you can add a little bit of whatever things that you have handy in your kitchen I am just going to add a little pieces of um, jello bell pepper to add to the hearts I am going to add nothing but bagel I'm going to add Besides, they are going to look very pretty. They are going to have a little bit of more flavor. Not that they need a lot of flavor because blue cheese is pretty strong already, but I think so that it will balance the flavor very, very well. My oven is 425 degrees I am going to bake these delicious cookies for 10 to 15 minutes until the edges turn a little bit golden and you can move the cookie easily from your baking sheet very good I am going to check my cookies oh they look so nice this is what I was looking for I want them to be more golden on the top they're still going to be very golden on the bottom, I believe. Yes, they're gold on the bottom. So my cookies are ready. I'm going to transfer them to a cooling rack. And later on, I am going to enjoy them with a cup of wine. Ooh. Okay, these cookies are so yummy. And if you like cheese, this is going to be one of your favorite recipes, I'm pretty sure. My family loves cheese and I cannot wait to have them accompanied with a glass of wine okay if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends follow me on my social media and never forget to be always very creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating and see you until next time bye bye